issue that we all face today is that we are dependent on very few staple crops and these very few staple crops will become increasingly under pressure as we as a human race continue to grow and reach 9 billion people by 2050. What we are doing at BAM Yield, which is a Crops of the Future program, is looking at underutilized crops as an alternative. In particular, we are looking at legumes, legumes being beans, lentils, peas, and groundnuts, and seeing how they can complement staple crops. So BAM Yield uses Bambara groundnut as an exemplar species. It is a legume, very much similar to groundnut, AKA peanut. It is indigenous to West Africa, and has recently been introduced to Southeast Asia a few centuries ago. Um, it's estimated that 0.3 million smallholder farmers uh, currently grow Bambara groundnut in Sub-Saharan Africa. It's favored for its drought tolerance and ability to grow under very harsh conditions and marginal soils. But also its nutritional profile is very much in high esteem. It's called a complete food in that it's well balanced in terms of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. So BAM Yield is taking the research value chain approach. For example, we are conducting germplasm development, uh, multi-locational field trials all around the world, uh, trait and genetic analysis, as well as product development. We're also incorporating farmer, farmer participatory breeding. And finally, we are looking at knowledge exchange, both on a anecdotal level, but also on a more formal and online global level. The final outcome of BAM yield are varieties of underutilized legumes, for example, Bambara groundnut, that will increase food security and improve income generation for subsistence and small scale farmers. These new varieties will be high yielding. They'll be environmentally suited to the local conditions and they'll be more resilient to current environmental stresses as well as future climate change challenges.